Hello guys, welcome back to a brand new video and welcome back to another episode of Transfer Stories. This is being filmed the night after the Champions League final where Bayern Munich came and won the Champions League title but after beating PSG one goal to nil. Um, and I thought it was a good goal by Kinsey Coleman as well. But anyway... Back to the main stuff, all the transfer gossip going around, guys, you know what to do, subscribe for more, give us a little big thumbs up, you enjoy it, thanks for watching and let's go. So the first bit of transfer news I've got is that Ben Chornwell will become a Chelsea player in the next few days. Now Ben Chornwell, I've already summoned him up in some of my videos that, you know, with the likes of how he does and how well he plays, it can really fit into Chelsea's young philosophy at Chelsea. I think Ben Chormel could be a big part of that, you know, philosophy that Frank Lampard's looking for. And obviously it don't have that Lewis Dunk to sign a new five-year contract to Brighton as well, which puts Lewis Dunk off the transfer list. And from a Brighton fan, I am quite relieved about that. But, you know, Ben Chormel does look like he's on his way to Chelsea. And will be announced in the next few days. As I said, I think it'd be a great addition to Chelsea. Could probably do one or two more players, maybe youngsters, if that's the way Chelsea want to go. But as I said, next few days, Ben Chalmel should be a Chelsea player. So also, you know, plays in a strike as well. Three appearances, three opportunities then. This season, don't forget this year in the Premiership, not the Premier League, in the Premiership in Scotland, they had started their new campaign after basically, you know, no, now we're and avoid last season, obviously, after what happened in the pandemic. But, you know, three appearances, three goals to his name. Villa, do a lot, I want to sign him. He's only the age of 22 as well, so. You know, fair play for someone. I think that's a really, really struggle last season as well, to be more honest. But, you know, looking at Aston Villa could possibly be going for Orsa. He can play two positions. His other position is a right winger. So, you know, centre midfield, right winger. Got a choice of the two there if Villa want to go 4 3 3, for example. But, you know, possibly a filler player on the way, possibly another striker as well. But, you know, fair play to filler if they do go through with this. But now, it's a bit different from when players come on board, but, you know, it's still different to the Scottish Premier League as well. But, you know, Aston Villa do look like they're going to put a bid in for Orsa. So, keep an eye out for this. Southampton have made a bid for Omni Codderman. I think that is. So if I mispatch them, I probably have somewhere across the line. So what do we know about this specific player? Well, he's a centre back. Only got the one position. I think I might cover him in another transfer story early on in this series. The age of 27 years old. So you know, still young. But coming up in over to the Premier League, might find it a bit tough to start with. But you know. Southampton want to go for this player, then obviously feel free to do so. It's going to be interesting if he does come over with the likes of, you know, the way he plays, how the Premier League plays. Are a lot of teams looking for three at the back next season? Put, leave your comments down below about that. How many teams do you think will go three at the back for next season? But, you know, he's a left footer as well. So, as I said, only the age of 27 years old could slightly be worth buying still got probably about five years left in him so a long term contract possibly if he does come in but you know it, we're gonna have to wait and see what happens with this one as well also now this player ain't had any transfer offers as yet but try all right apparently Wolves are ready to sell him to make you know a bit of money obviously it didn't help the pandemic but try all way for your club also put us down in the comments below will you be happy that he will play for your club i think you know probably around the 50 million pound mark but you know it could 
roughly be a really good signing for your club. I do think that, you know, trial way to do what he does, such a fast runner. I remember watching him in Europa League and he basically ran from one end of the pitch to the other so quickly. Now I know if he came to Brighton that I'd be over the moon with him coming to Brighton. I think he's a right back as well, but you know, he can play right wing back. But as I said, he's got such a fast pace about him. It could really help your club. As I said, I think he'd be around about 50 million if I do sell, probably a bit more. But you know, as I said, do you think he will leave Wolf or do you think he will stay? Also put that down in the comments below also. Now this one, I have had mixed reports, but Gabriel has joined Arsenal. Now, there was late rumours that Man United are coming in for him and all these other clubs, but he has joined Arsenal, or just on the verge of joining Arsenal, should I say. But, you know, Gabriel does look like he will, will be an Arsenal player. Welcome to the Premier League. I look forward to seeing you this season, hopefully at the Emmet, if I get, you know, pit to go watch a game. But... You know, Gabriel being an Arsenal player, good move for Arsenal, I do think. I'll probably go get this, my, this next same role, but I'm going over to the other north side of London in Tottenham. Not pizza, but it's an eye, but you know, it's came up on my computer as pizza, I don't know why, but you know who I'm on about anyway, it's sharp on the screen. But anyway, Tottenham interested from Benfica, he's 30 years old, Portuguese in, international, he has played 17 times for Portugal with three goals in his name. He's a right midfielder, so you know, very much I think Tottenham need to be looking this window, if I'm all honest. But he can play in the other two positions, which is centre midfielder and an attacking midfielder. So, you know, good link up play with Deli Alley. The only trouble is he is 30 years old, so he really is, you know, on his last legs. But don't worry, that's not the only player they'll be covering sort of in their 30s. But anyway, you know, being a right midfielder could possibly be an up move for Tottenham trying to get back in the Champions League. Anyway, now Thiago Silva, as I said, this is being recorded the morning after the Champions League final. Obviously, Thiago Silva was the PSG captain, but he does look like he could be on the move to Chelsea. Now, Thiago to me is one of these players that really has got, you know, a lot about him still. You know, he's 35 years old. Told you he won't be the only 35 year old I'll be covering this video. You know, Brazilian international. Funny enough, he has got two citizenships. One in Brazil, one in France. But, you know, he's out of contract basically by PSG unless they do the year extension. But, you know, he's been strongly rumoured with Chelsea this season. Now, this is where I think it could help the youth getting someone like Kim involved in the Chelsea squad. Someone I will be looking forward to if he does come over to the Premier League, but, you know, we're going to have to wait and see what happens with this one. It could as well be, you know, maybe a bench club just to be there for the experience and, you know, help the youth through the defending um, parts. Obviously, Frank Lampard was a midfielder and an exceptional midfielder he was as well. But, you know, Thiago Silva does look like he will be on his way to Chelsea. Could very much be of... You know, as I said, just being on the bench, but he could be rare also in the first 11 to help the youngsters on the pitch as well, also. Now we go to Leagues, and yet again, sorry if I mispronounce this name, Rodrigo Mari Marion. I've, as I said, I probably mispronounced that somewhere across the line. Apologies if I have. Leagues are preparing to make the first bid for, you know, Rodrigo. I'm going to pronounce this Rodrigo. Apologies if I am mispronounced that in any way. But, you know, Leagues are looking forward to put bidding for this player. I think this is the third, maybe fourth striker Leagues I've been, uh, leagues I've been linked with, with the likes of, you know, this window. He's 29 years old. Jet again has got two citizenships, one in Spain, one in France. His professional foot is a left foot. His main position is a centre midfielder, so, you know, that's not too surprising, as I said. At the four strikes they've been linked with this, uh, this window. But he has got two other positions as well, which is a second striker, which is behind the striker. Uh, so you've got two locking the line. Or a right winger. So, you know, the likes of that happening. You know, 29 years old. Very much someone that he does want to... He does want to sign, if I'm all honest. Funny enough, he's born in Brazil, but he does play Spain. He's got 22 appearances for Spain with 
eight appearances to his name. So, you know, the likes of that happen well also. But, you know, centre forward for Leeds, as I said, about the fourth one they've been linked with this window. Premier League is very fast approaching. I think we're just below three weeks away. But, obviously, still on my Premier League uh, prediction table coming up. And also on my Premier League predictions for all the week in the Premier League. Now, the last bit of news today, and that is Arsenal going to go head to try and sign Thiago. Now, Thiago was on the winning side of the Champions League last night. Obviously, he plays for Bayern Munich at this present in time. I did watch the game, and they were saying that he has played his last game for Bayern Munich. So, you know, with the likes of that, Thiago, I think he more will head to Liverpool. That's no disrespect to Arsenal anyway, but, you know, as I said, it's no disrespect to Arsenal whatsoever, I should have said. But, you know, with the likes of Thiago going to Liverpool, or maybe Arsenal, but as I said, I think he's more destination with Liverpool. It would be an unstoppable midfield. And I'll speak to uh, quite a few of you about this move going ahead. Seeing Thiago in a Liverpool shirt. Now, hopefully, yet again, I might be able to go and see it. But if not, it'd be an absolute honour to welcome him to the Premier League. But anyway, guys, I've got to bring this video to an end. Guys, if I covered your club, uh, you're either selling or bringing a player in. Please tell me how you feel down in the comments below. Give us a big thumbs up if you enjoy it. Subscribe for more. Thanks for watching. Ciao for now.